All right. Okay. I want to just welcome everybody. Um, several people completed the summer success series that we hosted, which was a 12 week program. We got amazing results from that. And, you know, people's level of participation or follow through, as always, you know, varied a little bit. But just examples of the kind of success people can achieve with the TLS program. Um, this is Brittany, who lost 12 pounds in three weeks. But it just highlights the fact that this program really focuses on fat loss as opposed to just weight loss. And that's why, you know, it's not really, it's not just like a biggest loser kind of program. It's really all about, you know, shredding fat and then, you know, building muscle so that you can, um, that's what dictates your metabolism. The guy on the right, Kyle, was not in this particular group, but he did 26 pounds in 12 weeks. But you can see the difference. So, you know, the excess weight we carry around our middle is, a, is what's really the biggest challenge for us when it comes to health. And, you know, one of my colleagues said the other day, uh, she was, did a post, and it's true. It said, a healthy body doesn't carry excess weight. Probably a good way to think about it. So it's not just about the, the scale, though. And I wanted to just highlight the fact that there are some non-scale victories that people can track. So through the course of the 12-week program, people talked about tracking a habit. Some people started walking more. They perhaps brought, bought a Fitbit. They were keeping track of how much water they were drinking. Another thing you can do is take a selfie. We ask people to take photos when they start. And then, you know, it's great to have a, an updated photo and look at it because we don't always remember exactly where we came from. So it's good to have that sort of photographic evidence for our own self. Check your skin. A lot of times, once people start eating more healthfully, their skin improves. They've got a glow. They've gotten rid of their acne. Um, they don't have, they no longer have rashes. A lot of times people don't realize that your skin is your largest organ and we detox through our skin. Um, we want people to assess their daily activities. Is it easier to run up the steps? Do you, are you more willing to get up and do things and go places? Uh, do a benchmark test. That might be, for example, if you in the past um, could do whatever, 20 sit-ups, can you now do 40 sit-ups? Or can you, instead of doing 10 minutes on the elliptical, do 20 or 30 minutes on the elliptical? Another one that's really popular is number six, which is to try on an old pair of jeans. A lot of times that is like really tells you where the changes have occurred. The sit and rise test is just, you know, practicing getting up and down from a chair. Um, you know, once we lose weight and uh, work on strengthening our core a little bit, all of those kind of daily activities, what we call functional movements, just get easier. Another thing that's a great measure of success is to set a scary goal. You know, those people who have success maybe become a wellness coach like Terry. Um, maybe you decide that you want to, you know, um, take that cruise or be willing to wear that different swimsuit or, you know, just set a goal that's maybe a little bit out of your comfort zone because now you have the confidence with your improved, you know, health and also appearance. Phone a friend. Um, we like everybody who does, is working on a wellness goal to have a friend who's really just your compliment buddy. That's the person that when you call them, they, they never complain about anything. You don't fuss about what's going on in the news or politics or the neighborhood. It's just the person that's like, how are you doing? Oh, I went to the gym. That's awesome. Terrific that you're making those changes. You know, and you go back and forth with each other, supporting each other. Another great measure of success is to work out with a heart rate monitor. Uh, if you do that, you'll see that over time, um, if you're doing endurance type activities, that your, your heart rate, you won't require as much effort. So your heart rate will you know, uh, slow down a little bit over time. And you can also make sure you're in fat burning mode if you're wearing a heart rate monitor. Number 11 is to assess your sleep. You know, many people start with TLS and then, you know, they uh, realize, well, I, I eat well, I drink the water, I take the supplements, but I'm not getting to sleep. And when they do, magical things happen. They have the energy that they need for each day. They're able to um, put forth a better effort, for example, at the gym. They have better mental clarity and they just feel better. So honestly, uh, sleep is really critical for weight loss. And there's some really interesting research that talks about the fact that we sleep in sort of 75 minute intervals. So that suggests that six hours or seven and a half hours or nine hours would be better than eight hours of sleep. And there's actually, it's very interesting research on that. And then the number 12 is to measure your other numbers. You can measure your waist. You can measure your waist to hip ratio. You, it's not everything on the scale. You can measure your percent body fat with the handheld device. So these are just some other measures of success. And I know that everyone who participated in our challenge had some level of success. 
Well, you guys already know about the four components of TLS. Most of the people on this Zoom know about that, but it's low glycemic impact eating or eating to stabilize your blood sugar. It's all about improving body composition. It's about improve, uh, you know, taking supplementation to improve your nutritional status and then education. And we like to say that weight loss isn't magic, it's actually science. So this is just showing us again where we'd like our blood sugar levels to be. We'd like to be in the blue zone. But many people, you know, if they're not following the program, unfortunately, um, start off in, the, in a good zone in the morning, but then they eat something high glycemic, like a bagel or a donut or cereal or, um, you know, something, uh, 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 maybe even some of the less desirable bars as opposed to a true protein bar high in fiber. And then their blood sugar goes up all the way to number four. We call that hyperglycemic. Then your blood sugar drops precipitously and you become what we call hypoglycemic. And unfortunately, when you, when you go really high, it puts your body in fat storage mode. So the whole thing that everybody's been working on, you know, with the TLS program is to stay in the blue zone so that we can avoid being able to store fat. And when we do that and stay in the blue zone, we become lean, mean, fat burning machines. So I'm going to pause and just invite Terry Kibler, who's one of our TLS coaches and also a very <laughs> wonderful success story with TLS, to talk a little bit about her experience during the last 12 weeks. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yep. All right. Well, it's funny, as you're going through the measures of success, I'm checking things off like, wow, I never even thought I had this and had this and that. <laughs> so it's exciting. Um, well, you know, I was sharing with Nancy, I, I uh, did this the last six weeks and, you know, I, I've been keeping track every week of my measurement, you know, my, my waist and hips. I'm using this nice sheet that Nancy sent to us in the beginning and, you know, measuring, taking my measurements, my weight, my body fat. And I really noticed that, um, you know, I started this journey officially back in March and I've just, I've seen gradual results and every single time, whether it's 12 weeks or six weeks, you know, things are always changing in it, but they're different. So this <laughs> six weeks, I, I, I actually lost an inch on my waist and an wow. inch on my hips. Yippee. <laughs> and that's exciting in itself. But I, I also noticed, um, you know, during this past six weeks, things fluctuated. You know, I went from, um, and I'll just put it out there because I don't care anymore. <laughs> I, I went from, you know, weighing 183 when we first started, you know, six weeks ago. I gained, actually gained a few pounds of, about, you know, two weeks later, but I knew why. I was retaining fluid. It was that time of the month. And I was okay with that because I finally finally have stopped depending on that stupid scale and um you know went up a few pounds but it was no big deal because I still saw like I'm losing inches I lost you know I actually went down this time three four percent in body fat Woohoo! that's four, awesome. four percent <laughs> um and so I look ultimately I ended up I ended up you know, losing those couple pounds I gained again I knew they were fluid and in the end I lost about nine pounds and so, so. I mean that's such an important message Terry and I'm just, <laughs> I really appreciate you sharing it because what happens is when people use or rely on the scale as their measure of success they hop on and if it goes up they go oh I can have a cheeseburger for lunch <laughs> or they hop, you know, cause it's not working or they hop on and it goes down and they go, Oh, I can have a cheeseburger for lunch. So, you know, just weighing weekly and then relying on your experience and knowing that the ultimate goal is body fat loss. You yes. didn't get distracted by that. You just stayed with it. Exactly. And in the end, look at that down 4% body fat and nine yes. pounds. Congratulations. Thank That's you. fabulous for six weeks. Yeah. And also just going to share this, that so starting in March, um, from March till now, and again, things change, things fluctuate, but if you just keep at it, I've actually lost seven inches from my waist since March. Oh my gosh, Terry. And so, see, that's amazing, <laughs> you know, and, but this is what's inspiring for people, you know, because when we carry extra weight or fat around our middle, that's what not only puts us at risk for health challenges, but it also determines what size jeans we wear, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. And one more exciting thing I have to tell you about my blood sugar. I was running, you know, in the scary numbers, I was getting some time, you know, 110, 120, my pre-diabetic numbers, they were not looking good. And now my 
I'm in the 70s or 80s. Anytime I check my blood sugar, it's just, you know, so I know that I'm just, I'm getting healthier and healthier and all this low glycemic eating is definitely the way to do it. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for sharing all of that. That's a fabulous testimonial. Yes. And, you know, the other piece I, that we should share, if you don't mind, Terry, is no, I, don't I mind. want the other folks to know that Terry's a registered nurse. So Terry knows about the value of being healthy. And she has told me before that she tried several different programs. And really, TLS is the only one that really works for you long term, correct? Yes, yes, definitely. Cool. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> You're welcome. So, when people get started with TLS, the first thing they typically do is to complete that TLS weight loss profile so that they can, what we call, find your fit. And once we know um, what your fit is, and that means you're going to get recommendations for both supplements and a menu plan, then you'll select those. And then we like to say you're going to commit to be fit. But we have something really cool coming up this fall, which I am over the moon about. We are having a special TLS find your fit challenge this fall with up to $25,000 in prizes. So here are the details. You're going to go online to register on your coach's tlsslim.com site. So, you know, each of us will provide the link for each of our clients to make sure that you're going right where you need to, to be able to get registered. The cost to register is $30. There will be prizes in the male and the female category. First place is $7,500, second place $2,500, and third place $1,500. And um, I want to be sure that you guys understand this is not a biggest loser contest. So in other words, um, it's not like if you have 80 pounds to lose, you're going to beat somebody that has only 12 pounds to lose. 60% of the evaluation is based on photos. So if somebody's losing that last eight or 10 pounds, but you know, now their abs are starting to show and it's really visible, then that's 60% of it. 60% is the photos. 20% is kind of your testimonial sharing what happened. So if Terry were doing it based on what she just shared with us now, she would be sharing, you know, about her improvement in her blood sugar, her ability to do more things, the seven inch loss from her waist. And that in the last 20% are metrics, whatever you wanted to measure. So that would be, you know, body fat percentage, inches lost, pounds lost, um, all of that. And, and so, you know, people are going to um, be evaluating this and they're completely independent from the company or from TLS. It will not be, you know, trainers or coaches or anybody looking at it. In fact, they're allowing us to participate in the challenge. And I'm going to be doing this right alongside you guys. I'm um, very excited about that and uh, looking to take my weight loss to the next level as we move into the fall. So the requirements for the 12-week challenge are first just that you register. Again, that's done on TLS Slim on your coach's uh, page. You're going to take the weight loss profile, and that will help you to choose your program. Once you take that weight loss profile, your coach gets an um, email as well with the recommended menu plan, the recommended products, and then you two will put your heads together and make a selection of the products you want to start with. I know that many people will start with the 21-day challenge kit, which is an incredible value. Um, you save like $50 with it, and it's like just a great way to get started because it includes the seven-day cleanse kit. It includes um, a bottle of core and multivitamin and two shakes. Um, the next thing is to take your before and after photos and your measurements, and then you'll track that. And then at the end, you would submit everything along with your story and testimonial uh, for consideration. The actual dates that for the contest are September 4th to November 26th. Now, the good news for everybody is that you can go ahead and take your before photos now. And that's kind of good. It's kind of like giving you an extra two weeks since, you know, 60% of the evaluation is the photos. You know, you can take the photos now and continue or start your weight loss journey now. You don't need to wait until September 4th to get started. But you will actually do your weight on that morning, uh, you know, as, as we move into the official contest period. Now, some people will say to me, I don't think I can lose a lot or I, you know, I'm not sure that I'd be a winner. Um, you know, only one person can win the $7,500. What I would say to you is that it's always better to be part of something, to be with other people. And so we would invite you to commit not only yourself, but why not join us and invite some friends? Because if we all do it together, I know Terry and the other, and Terry Heathie and Terry uh, Kibler and the others on, and Dr. Bob, all the folks, you know, will agree that if we work together, we just get better results. We have more accountability. We also have more encouragement. And what we're willing to provide, we call our team, Team TLC, and it's a large consortium of many health professionals um, and, and wellness coaches. 
So what we want to provide during this challenge period is free support and coaching. And we do that primarily through a private Facebook group. So we'll be sharing recipes. We'll be sharing wellness information. You'll be able to get your questions answered very quickly because you'll have multiple people who will be monitoring that. You're going to also receive some recipes to keep your meals interesting. You'll get exercise suggestions as well. But the main thing that you're going to get, I think, is lots and lots of encouragement. And we're super excited to be able to help people. Um, again, $25,000 in prizes. Uh, my friend Jamie uh, won the contest. We had one back in, I think it was 2014. And he was one of the big winners. But we never have had a prize as big as $7,500 for first place. So that's kind of inspiring you guys, but even the third place prize of $1,000, I, I would take that for sure. So I'm super excited about it. Um, is there anything else that you would like to add, Terry or Dr. Bob, either Terry or any of the Terry's <laughs> or Dr. Bob? Just, you know, I'm, I'm already signed up. I've already got my welcome email <laughs> for this challenge. And I, I, I'm super excited because again, I'm doing it not only for the money, because yes, that, that prize would be wonderful. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it to just keep myself motivated, you know, hopefully motivate others. And, and it is, it's so much easier when we all do it together. <laughs> for sure. I'm also so, already registered, Terry, and got my welcome email with the instructions for how to do photos. And yes. of course, we're happy to help anybody that would like help with that. They encourage us to use like a, you know, a real camera, not just a phone, unless you have a really high resolution camera on there. But, you know, this is, this is, you know, our time to be able to move forward on our health and wellness goals and weight loss goals for the fall. So I think the timing is perfect. That was yes. purposely done to start after Labor Day and to finish before Thanksgiving. Right before Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect, right? Okay, yes. well, I want to thank everybody for joining us this evening. Um, we'll make this recording available if you have anybody else you'd like to share it with. Thanks.